Oh man. Like uh yeah, I know what a lot of y'all wanted to uh first hand when it first had dropped and everything had you know, just in a mist and it's, everything started going <laughs> while out, you know. But at least we're here now, so let's just get into it. I don't feel like, you know, going through the day I just had but you know, let's get into this. I was but no, let's just let's just get into this. I'll probably speak about that a little bit later, but all right. So yeah, it, like I've been, I had no no worries. That's why I dropped. Uh, you know, to make sure y'all know I was on the sidelines and I was watching from afar, of course. My eyes everywhere, of course, and yeah, shit just like instantly just flew out in the air. It's just like under the span of twelve hours, because I had I had to get everything up and notice, but under the span of 12 hours everything just started going crazy man it's just like boom like every just thing just started coming out and it was really everything was starting to blow up first you had it started off with early in the morning too triple h back as vp i mean he's like pretty much been in that role but but yeah he's triple h back as vp and pretty much by this point stephanie and nick khan c co-ceos let me check Sorry to check something. <laughs> I ain't let nothing mess up. But, yeah, like, by this point, you got what I just said. Like, Triple H back as VP. You got Stephanie and Nick Khan back as CE, co-CEOs. Then, like, after that, by that point, and then, like, hours before, like, two hours, you know, hours before after that. I'm going to say that. Hours after the, the fact that, you know, at 4 o'clock, around 4 o'clock yesterday, we all know what went down. Apparently now... That yeah, like Vince McMahon has to retire. I don't know. It's just like, cause if you, cause if you like, if you been a part of WWE for like a very long time, like I have, and you know about what goes behind the scenes, especially you know behind it, within the character of Vince Kennedy, Vince Kennedy McMahon, uh, it just doesn't feel real because like. <laughs> Like, the man also literally said, too, and it's just, like, it just feels as real, too, because, yeah, like, he even says it, whether it's kayfabe or not, he said, like, he, he's not walking away, and, you know, many others have, like, you know, have joked about it and claimed about it coming from him, like, if not coming from himself, that he pretty much has not, until he die, he's not going away from WWE, and how could you blame him, like, this is his life, you know, he built this from the ground up, so it's like, how could you, you know, how, how, like, why would he, like, leave away from this, and I will say, because I actually want to, like, we'll get into that much more later, but I'm not going to actually be done with this, I want, I want to just get this out and let y'all know, you know, let y'all hear me talk a bit about it a little bit. Yeah, I'm, I want y'all to let hear me talk about it a little bit. You know, we're going to all gather around and, you know, talk a little bit about it. But we're really going to, like, set it up for the big course, though. And then talk about it some more. What I just talked about t today, tonight. But, yeah, it's like a lot of stuff has been, go like, going down, man. And it's under span of 12 hours. Like, and this is all going down at 12 hours yesterday. But before SmackDown, and then before that, what I was about to say, like, after that had came out, then it was, like, rumors of Brock leaving SmackDown. Like, he said, I'm out of here. And it was just instantly going crazy. After you had that, like, Triple H back as VP, then you got Vince McMahon because of the allegations. Like, come on now. We, like, we know, but, like, he was, like, it's because of this. Like, we know he's, like, stepping down, like, they're, like... Come on now, you like you can't like I said you can't be that cockeyed or whatever you can be like, but you <laughs> you can't be that you know dumbfounded to like yeah he's like retiring or they're trying to you know for base he's being forced to retire because of the heat and I don't know how this is obviously a setup. <laughs> I want to talk about a bit about this more, but yeah, yeah this is obviously a setup because it's just like. Howard is what I understand like news, but it's like how is Wall Street getting this personal information? Like how? Like, you know, just pop up like they have to have a source and that source just has to be within WWE. 
Like, that's what I'm uh, trying to think, and anybody's not really talking about. Like, yeah, you probably... He probably, uh, some people probably talked about it here and there, but and it's not really being as discussed. And it's probably like a niche, like small quantity of people talking about it. Yeah, it is like, insta- it is like extremely, like disturbing or really like uh, kind of interesting that Nick Khan has gained so much power. And I don't know what he came back, but I probably have to do a- another video on that also, but... Yeah, this like this strange dude, and he got ties to to the Rock for whatever reason. I don't know about that, but yeah, for some strange reason, like Nick Khan is gaining all this power, and yeah, that, that's 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 very interesting and really like deep to think about. Like like how he's gaining all this power, and yeah, after they missed all that, Brock had apparently had left SmackDown, pissed off. Off the fact that, you know, like, Vince is not going to basically be there anymore. And, obviously, that was, like, you had, of course, like I said, you had the fat midget being one of them. I hate that fucking fat ass. And, like, oh, my gosh, like, <sighs> probably later, but I'm not going to mention him right now. But, yeah, you had everybody calling in the fact that they say, like, calling Brock unofficial. And this, mind you, like, calling Brock, like, unprofessional. And this is on Twitter. Like, we don't know if this is true or not. This is all speculation. It's like, that's why I said. People take, oh, my gosh, man. You got so many headless headless sheep walking around. <sighs> oh, my gosh. But, yeah, after that, 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 that rumor, yes, rumor, that rumor was quick to dead. By the time, like, the end of SmackDown, he popped up and, uh, you know, F5'd Austin Theory into the uh, briefcase, the money in the bank briefcase, but yeah, and this all happened like 12 hours, it's like extremely crazy, like this is insane, man, it's like, oh, like I can't, can't even believe, I, I still can't believe this is actually happening, but yeah, you already knew that, I knew that, you know, being in the era that we in now, you know, this is, I mean, it's not, it's not the 70s and the 80s no more, so this is not going to be able to push this under the dark, you know. But, yeah, you like, of course, you had people, like, now to talk about Stephanie McMahon. But, yeah, Stephanie coming out and, like, basically, like, st- coming out to start a chant, basically. Or talk about, like, basically, you know, what just happened and, you know, her father, you know, Vince just announcing on Twitter also about the fact that he's retiring. And it's like, I get it, though, like, but no, it's like, not really a good I- good idea or a good look after the fact, especially what's going on right now. And the fact that, you know, you have, like, basically, like, like two of the big, like, one of the, like, your top stars, but, like, basically, you know, you're, you're coming out there to say all that and, you're kind of like trying to get basically rally to you know how WWE does they have their hurrahs and montages about you know who's the best and everything like that or saying like you know get sympathy sympathy uh brown points and everything like that and it's like <sighs> I said like come on Stephanie it's like you can't you can't even look more bad than it already is and it's like <sighs> Like, yeah, like, she come out and does that. And it's like, y'all really doing that? And, like, you called the biggest star, you know, Sasha Banks. And y'all called the biggest star that y'all ever, you know, one of the biggest stars that y'all ever had unprofessional. And it's like, what's going on right now is just <laughs> extremely unprofessional. So it's like, like I said, it, was, it, is, it doesn't even make any sense. Like, all this don't make any sense. So it's like. Just the fact, because I feel like, yeah, the fact, obviously, the fact that Stephanie's out there also is because they didn't want, you know, they, you know, probably Hunter was there too, and they were trying to, like, no, stop, <laughs> you know, you're not going out there, Vince, like, no, stay here, you're not going out there, you are, you've done enough damage, and, yeah, he's just, like, super, yes, Vince McMahon, <laughs> Vince Kennedy McMahon, he's beating everything, you know, basically, like, this is, like, world war, you know, the one-man army, so, yeah, they obviously didn't want him to go back out there and have a last, I don't, I'll, <laughs> I don't care, I'll hope, like, hopefully probably get a one last appearance, but, I don't know, probably, it'll probably be 
I guess in the near future, but not right now. They don't want to risk any more, you know, publicity than it. Because, you know, a stock, yeah, they don't want to take that publicity hit, and they already taken hit. So, yeah, they don't want it any more. They can't take any black publicity because, you know, you know how the stock market, it could care less. You know, any negative publicity is not good at all. So, like I said, he's obviously being, like, defiant, and they can't have him out there. They can't do it, so, because he's already caused enough damage. And then, like I said, you have Stephanie out there for whatever reason, because they, like, yeah, like, because, like I said, they didn't want Vincent going out there, or I guess they had to have some situation, address it, I guess. And it's like, she didn't say anything. <laughs> she really didn't, like I said, I guess her father and everything like that, but, you know, she didn't really say anything. Like, I don't, like, whatever, it was, like, truly then no reason for her to be out there. And it's, like, I don't get all of that because, like, yeah, at the, like, at the end of it all, you know, clearing the smoke, like, Vince didn't do anything. So, it's, like, <laughs> he didn't. So, like I said, I also don't, like I said, I understand, but, yeah, I said I was never a fan of his creative. I said uh, also like numerous times that Vince is bad for creative. He's gotten like over time out of touch or, you know, incredibly horrible for, you know, being around. Like he probably has no insight in anything like that. So I said I get that part, but you know, when you when it comes to obviously those side of things like yeah, like I said, he's guilty of a lot of stuff, but in this situation right here He's really, when you look at it, he didn't really do anything. Like, I don't y'all could take that however y'all want to say. I'm, I'm not re- going to really address that right now, but all I got to say about that is, like, you know, he really didn't do anything at the end of it all. So, I don't get the, you know, <laughs> cr- battle cry in arms about, oh, praise Jesus, Vince is God. I said, I get it from the head of creative, like, the creative standpoints, but it's like, for that, like... <laughs> You know, sheep is going to be sheep, so. But, yeah. Like I said, I didn't get any point of Stephanie be out there because, it's like, she really didn't add anything to the situation. And from the fact that, you know, could have t- talked about it, but she didn't talk about it. About her and Nick Khan now being co-CEOs. So, or the fact that Triple H or anything like that. Could have talked about something else, too, going into the future. Now that the product is officially... Tw- TV 14, yes, yeah, like SummerSlam is TV 14, just so I didn't know, so, yeah, but, uh, I guess so, whatever, but, yeah, when you look at it, yeah, it was all consensual, and, you know, because there were, like I said, no, there were, like, really, no issues, or, when you look at it, and like I said, you can take it however you want to take it, because, like I said, I'll address that later, I just want to, you know, be done with this already, but, yeah, it's like, when you look at it, what did he really? What did he really do? He didn't do anything right now. So, yeah, this will be the biggest story of 2022. Like, regardless of not like whether you have Sasha Banks walking out, MJF. Like, this will be especially WWE history. This will be the big story of in wrestling. In 2022, like, there's no stopping that fact, but, like I said, at the end of it all, like, you know, there nothing happened, you know, nothing was really going on, you know, just because of all that, but it looks like to me, yeah, he just paid for, basically, you know, hired prostitutes, that's what it looks like, he paid for prostitutes, and I do believe that also, but I'll talk more a bit about it later, but, yeah, Vix McMahon, insane. You know, Vince is retired. Wow. Vince is gone. I don't know. I still don't believe it, but, you know, for that dramatic effect, I'll give you all that. But I still don't believe it right now because he's still a majority shareholder. But I guess, because like I said, is anything really going to change? But like I said, we'll talk about that later. But I just wanted to get this out to y'all and let y'all know that I've seen everything. Yeah, know about everything was going on. But, yeah. Extremely crazy. But yeah, I'll see y'all out later. 
I'll be back, and then we'll really talk about deep, get real deep into it, and, you know, really talk. So, yeah, I'll see y'all later.